Right, in my last video I showed how I made this ER20 tool post mill and drill fixture for the MyFed ML7 and I was really pleased the way it turned out and how it performed and today I've got some new equipment for it and a couple of upgrades. And firstly I thought it'd be great to have variable speed off of the drill and I found this one here. This is an AC 0 to 220 volt adjustable um, voltage control box with an on off switch, a digital display for the voltage and a plug socket which can take um, different plugs and this one can be used with all different power tools to regulate the speed. So the box is made of metal, has nice cooling vents all the way round and places to actually secure it to a wall or a bench. The control knob is a nice size and it's smooth to operate. So the drill just plugs into this one and then plug the box into the mains and then switch it on here and turn up the voltage. And to go with the variable speed, I've got this tachometer here, chromed metal one. Um, I think it's a motorcycle tachometer. And I've got this one on Banggood. And I've secured it to an ordinary DTI um, magnetic base, one of those uh, low cost ones, one operation um, knob on the side here. So that one can quickly be stuck onto the lathe or another metal object and taken off when the um, tool post mill and drill fixture is taken off. Um, to operate this one, um, you have to have a proximity switch um, like this. I got these off of Banggood as well. They do come with their own magnet, but it's a magnet without a hole, um, so I don't use that one. I buy these here, which are 10 millimeter rare earth magnets with a countersunk hole through them. And then I drill and tap the um, collar here with a um, 12BA um, screw thread and screw that rare earth magnet to the collar exactly opposite to the securing grub screws that hold the collar to the spindle so that it balances at a high speed. And I've wired up the tachometer to the proximity switch here with a 12 volt um, socket. And if you go on my YouTube community page, you'll see the wiring instructions for this type of tachometer or this digital type. It's all there on that page. And for the proximity switch, I've made up this simple bracket here out of a bent piece of um, one millimeter thick brass, soldered it together, drilled it through so that the um, proximity switch can actually slide through. And then you use the nuts that come with the um, switch to adjust the length 
at the front here or the protrusion you want it about five to eight millimeter from the magnet on the spindle or the collar there this is a piece of delrin bar i've drilled and tapped it for six millimeter and put a grub screw down part way and then secured the um, bracket there with a six millimeter nut drilled that up through um, from the underside here and bored it out for this rare earth magnet it's a thin one and then i've screwed that one in there uh, with a self tapper screw the magnet is just below the surface of the delrin you don't want the actual magnet touching metal because when it snatches on they're very brittle and they can actually break so this one goes onto the tool post there and I'm about five millimetre from that rare earth magnet when I turn it like that you can see the LED um, flashing on the back of the proximity switch to know that it's working properly and you can see the revs going up on the tachometer and just a thing worth noting if you use the magnet that sometimes comes with these proximity switches they sometimes in the bag sometimes they're not they don't have a hole through them and there is only one way that they can go round with the right polarity to actually operate this switch so what i do first is wire up the proximity switch to the tachometer pass the magnet over the front of the switch like this and see whether it's lighting the led at the back here and operating the tachometer if it doesn't turn it around the other way to find that being the correct way and it's great that these little rare earth magnets with the countersunk hole facing outwards is the correct way to actually operate this switch anyway.